The experience of going to the movies has always been the combination of connection and isolation. The dark, cold room where everybody sits together, experiencing a joint waking dream of cinema. With every individual submerged in the lights and shadows, interpreting the 24 frames of flashing images before them. Whether it is connecting with the audience on a personal level or facilitating connections between viewers, cinema has always been a machine for empathy. One in which we are shown stories and perspectives from those that might be different from us. Experience of moviegoing, at least to us, is the most powerful collective activity that is also the most isolating. In the age of the post-pandemic, where everybody seems to be rediscovering and re-evaluating ways to connect with others, the experience of having this merger of personal and collective seems to be more apt than ever. The extended periods of time where families, friends and outside world seem to have transformed into a combination of dreams made out of fragments from our memory. A life of human contact constantly being mediated through our numerous screens, all carving out little windows of grainy pixels for us to glimpse into others' four walls. However, in our minds, this valley of alienating connectedness has been something that's a long time coming. With social media collapsing the whole world into an app, but also separating us more and more. Are meaningful resonant connections still possible in new abnormal? Can barriers of physicality and emotions be breached? How is one expected to hold on to glimpses of brightness in a world that is increasingly alienating and isolating? Responding to that, we have selected 11 films which we think encapsulates the motions and emotions of living in our current cultural landscape of disassociation. Every entry presenting stunning visual poetry of lost individuals, whether in themselves or in their environment, and their struggles of leaving the labyrinth of separation. Through these masterpieces of mood evocation, we hope to give audiences a curated journey through multiple stops of the human experience on our blue marble. Our festival will take you to different parts of the world, from the lavish mansion in Melancholia, to the foggy industrial wasteland of Italy in Red Desert, to the blurry and neon Hong Kong of fallen angels, all of them encompassing our lonely characters, each with their multitudes of worries and woes across the globe. We start the festival with a screening of the 1984 classic, Paris, Texas, setting the tone for the rest of the festival. I just don't think I'm the one you want to talk to. I'm gonna miss you when you go. What about marriage? Does that get easier? That's hard. We used to have a lot of fun. Perché non sono una donna sola. Per quanto a volte è come separata. No, non da mio marito, no. I corpi sono separati. No, I have not lost my faith. Ending with a hopeful, forward-looking note of Bo Burnham's 8th grade. In its center, the film prompts us to re-examine relationships with one another, the power interpersonal bonds have, and how the internet is affecting all of that. As the conclusion to a festival of isolating films, 8th grade provides a scatter of light and warmth, 
like a hug from a loving father. Despite all the hardships and pain life can often bring us, it's easy to ignore the fact that we as humans are brought into the world with other humans, thus being able to share both the joy and the suffering, embracing the inevitableness of it all together. Through this film festival, we hope audience members can leave with a renewed sensations and perspective on what it means to be a person in a communal world, grasping the yearning that's deep inside each of us, seeing things in life with a level of prudence, trying our best to make the most out of the modern ball of mess, building a world of love in the face of impending doom.